either I'm Ms. Artastic and in this video episode I'm going to talk about how to help your child learn to use different art mediums. So let's dive into this episode and let's make some art. <music> idea is for help how to help your child learn to use different art mediums is to just pick four art mediums to experiment with so instead of buying all the things at the store you know, I know it's so hard right because we go into somewhere like Michael's or Hobby Lobby and they have literally all the things and they're so cool but they are very expensive and then sometimes they're only good for one use and then you gotta go buy another thing and then it's or you don't get to use it, it's a little too complicated, or it's not as good as you thought it was gonna be. So we're gonna simplify things and we're gonna go just get four simple art mediums that can literally be bought at absolutely any store, like literally any big box store. So you can grab wax crayons, felt markers, oil pastels, and watercolor paints. These are all easy to use, easy to experiment and explore with. Um, they don't require much in terms of you know, reading instructions and like getting adult help. Um, they could be used by all ages, from professional levels all the way down to pre-K, and then they all be produce beautiful results. Um, and they're super low cost, affordable. Um, wax crayons and oil pastels are good until they are no longer being, you know, you can no longer hold it. It's too small to hold. That's when it's no longer good. Um, and then um, they are probably the most affordable. Totally. So we're going to grab those and then you're going to allow, um, put them out and then your kids can explore creating with those. Now number two is to put out two mediums at a time. So when you guys go to have your art creating session, I like to put out two different art choices, right? So if they are not like into wax crayons, maybe you also have your felt markers out or you can have wax crayons and oil paints, oil pastels or maybe wax crayons and watercolor paints or oil pastels and watercolor paints because when you have those two out, the wax crayons and watercolors or oil pastels and watercolors, you can actually combine those, right? So what you could do is you could draw first and then paint on top and both of those mediums will resist the paint, creating some really cool effects. But what I would do is I would just put them out um, and then just give them some paper and let them just see what happens and enjoy some more play-based experimentation and let them figure out how to use them on their own, see what happens if you're using both. And if it doesn't work out, that's okay too. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be what you want their, their art to look like. It doesn't have to look like anything to you, right? It's about them just exploring, making things that is making art which is really a reflection of our own human conditions, right? So maybe they're reflecting or working through things that are there through their own human condition and letting it develop naturally, right? Especially at the pre-K level, kindergarten level, we might not know what's going on. It might, I mean, I can get, honestly, I've done it so long that I can generally 99% of the time figure out what a kid drew. They're like, look at this. I'm like, it's a... It's, look, it's me, or it's a guinea pig, and I can figure it out. <laughs> but <laughs> I can technically figure it out. However, sometimes it's just like a bunch of stuff, and that's okay too. If we look at artists in our history, sometimes that is what it looks like because that is a reflection of their own human condition, and we need to cherish that. If we start asking our kids to color in the lines 100% of the time, the grass must be green, the sky must be blue, even though I'm looking out my window right now and it's absolutely gray, well now we're just stamping out that creativity and shoving them into a box, and who likes to be shoved into a box? This is how we kill creativity, and this is what happens, and then by the time they get into grade four, they're like, I can't draw. Well. I know, because we've just been told that we can't draw almost our whole life to existence, you know, in existence until this point. We've been told that we can't draw, we can't draw, we're kind of drawing in the lines, we're not drawing the right colors, oh, I must not be able to draw. So instead of doing that, we're going to let them explore, give them be free, and they're going to find ideas and understand how to use different mediums just by being more play-based and just trying them, see what happens. Make a mess, find out. All right. Number three is to watch YouTube, tutor YouTube tutorials. Now, once they get some freedom 
to play with the different mediums done, right? They're exploring, they're playing with the different mediums, um, they're seeing what happens. Well, now that they've gotten to explore it, now we're gonna add in that little bit of structure. So what you could do is instead of telling them, you're like, oh, we have to do it like this, you can actually go explore some different YouTube channels together. I would pre-watch them first to make sure it's relevant, right? Um, and especially age appropriate, but there are different artists out there who are doing like how to use pencil crayon or colored pencil um, tutorials, how to use wax crayon, how to use wax crayon in a professional way, because a lot of people sometimes do do that. Um, how to use uh, oil pastels and oil pastel techniques, how to use watercolor paints and watercolor paint techniques, and watch those videos, and then check out how to use them in different ways, because. But you can discover so many different things from what different artists are offering out there uh, and they're going to teach you how to use those, those mediums in ways that maybe I don't even understand because they're, they're inventing them on the spot themselves and that's the coolest thing about YouTube is you can learn from so many professional artists out there and discover things or you might discover your own technique right? That's unique to you. That's the thing about artists is that the whole idea of art is that you're discovering how to use materials and techniques on your own and you're developing your own style and you're developing your own skills and you're developing your own techniques. But you can learn from each other too. And so I advise to check out different YouTube channels and what artists are doing and search like how to use oil pastels. And I guarantee you, you're going to find some really cool videos out there. Um, and then you can either watch those together or teach those techniques to your child. So that you have some new techniques and skills to use and apply with when they're creating their own designs. Oh yeah. All right. Number five is to try using mediums in different combinations together. So like I already touched on, you can use your oil pastels, draw first and paint over top with some watercolor paints, maybe sprinkle some salt on top of that and let it dry for some cool effects. Or you can draw first with some wax crayons, paint on top with some watercolor paints and then drip isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol, whatever you call it, um, on top. And that will make even different effects. Oh yes. Um, and then see what happens, let it dry and you'll have a really cool picture um, and unexpected results. So try using mediums together. You can even experiment tonight, say trying draw with uh, felt markers first and then draw color on top with some wax crayons. See what happens. Um, the only way you're gonna find out is if you try, right? Make a mess, see what happens. And that is the coolest and most fun thing about making art. Now, number six, if you want to help, um, if you want someone to help you learn how to, or help your child learn how to use these different art mediums, maybe you want to have more technical technical skill, um, learnt, or some more structure. If you want your child to go from drawing those stick people and those little triangular mountains that we typically see, right, of when somebody's drawing a landscape, and you want them to develop more. Um, skills in say pencil, learning how to shade, do their um, gray scales, develop their um, their drawing and 3D, their realism, developing their cartooning skills, and then also creating some artworks um, using those different art mediums, such as like they talked about, like your oil pastels and your watercolor paints, um, your wax crayons and your felt markers, and understanding how to create some really cool rich artworks, then I would advise that you enroll your family in Kids Art Academy. One account is good for the entire household. You get a license for your entire household to use and you get forever access. So you can come back and watch the lessons forever unlimited and you can watch, you can go and work through the course as slowly or as quickly, quickly as you want at any time, anywhere, on any device. So you can fit it into your family's schedule. You don't have to go sign up for a class at another art studio. You can make it work for you. I know that you're so busy and there's already so much to do in after school programs and between your work schedules. You do not need to add another, add another thing and this will not add anything else. This is instead going to keep you at home and allowing for some quality family time. So Kids Art Academy is going to walk your child and you, because I advise doing it together, because why not have some fun? Um, you can learn, it will teach you how to do the basics of drawing with pencil and color pencil. So it's gonna teach you how to draw, it's gonna teach you how to cartoon in a couple different styles, and then it's gonna help you create some artworks, again, using those four simple art mediums, wax crayons, oil pastels, felt markers, and watercolor paints. So if you want to learn more about Kids Art Academy, then you can check it out by hitting the link in the description of the video or by scanning the QR code on the screen, and that will take you to Kids 
Art Academy. Again, that's my course that again will give you forever access, unlimited access to the um, different art lessons in there. I'll provide a workbook and you get to work through it and help come just click and play the lessons and learn how to do art making, learn how to draw properly and develop your own skills and then go out there and make your own art afterwards. It will really take you from a place of unsure how to draw, you're just learning it on your own, to feeling confident, happier, stress-free, and wanting to create all the time, filling up your sketchbook from front to back. And again, if you want to learn more about that, scan the QR code or hit the link in the description of this video and that will take you right to Kids art academy and i can't wait to see you in that program all right my friend your next my question for you is this and i would love to hear your answers in the comments of the video is what questions do you have about using art mediums or about art mediums in general let me know in the comment section of the video your next video to watch is how to help your child get ideas for making art and you can watch that by clicking the link above or in the description of this video please make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel to help me grow this channel and get to my goal of 10,000 then 100,000 subscribers that is my ultimate dream and I would love your help I would really really appreciate it thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode